number one, we're back. Finally, some order. Roxo and Leo are gone. It will be me, Johnny, and Grandma again. Do this part for the world championship match. Yes, I mean, wow. I mean, it was freaking nuts seeing freaking Roxo sniffing that sugar or whatever. And, uh, <laughs> and, and seeing, uh, you know, Leo not, uh, trying to be, you know, all there. But he was kind of like eating his Coke. Uh, I don't even know what he was eating. He was eating Fruity Pebbles. Oh, damn freaking Fruity Pebbles. What's wrong with Fruity Pebbles? I like Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, but I think it's freaking Cena. Cena Nation or, or The Rock or something hypnotizing people to eat that shit. Oh, I like Fruity Pebbles. I always liked it before that. Well, anyway, here's El Cripson, the, the world, our king of the ring. Yeah, he won at fair and square, I will say that, even though you do kind of still have your speculations. Well, I can do whatever I dang will want, but El Cripps has got to fight The Undertaker. Can he pull off an upset here? Well, Rusty Cleaver could beat The Undertaker. He pushed The Undertaker to another level last show. So, I don't know. Maybe The Undertaker will have enough to win this match. We'll have to see. Yes, um... What do you think, Grim? Me, Grimlock, I'm happy to be here again, of course, and I think this is going to be match of night quality right here. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I mean, The Undertaker always gives us a good show, and Crimson has some skills. That's true. He is a great wrestler. Yeah, anyway, uh, let's see what happens here. The Undertaker doing his typical thing, and I'm wearing my gas pants, and so none of that smoke gets in my freaking throat. Oh, God. Why do you always carry that thing around? You never know when you might need a freaking gas mask. Like when Leo was here smoking his freaking weed. Damn freaking weirdo. Oh, you're, you're getting mad to it, potheads. I'm just getting pissed off about a lot of things. But I'm not going to turn heel. I'm not going to be a bad guy. I speak my mind, and if people don't respect me for what I say, that's fine with me. I don't care. Oh, what about me? I used to do that. Well, you were a jerk about it, you dumbass. Oh, God. Anyway, who do you think's going to walk out the, the, this match, Grimlock the champ? Me, Grimlock, do think either man would be great champion. But here's the deal. I heard Yallerson said, win, lose, or whatever, the person here will face Yallerson at some time down the line. Uh, you mean fight Rusty Claypool? Yeah, yeah, my bad, Potch. Yeah, yeah, you botched. Anyway, yeah, Rusty Claypool is on a roll. He is now six and one in his victories here in UW and UWCL. That's something that I gotta give credit where credit is due. I mean, this kid has been proving himself time and time again. He's beaten the Undertaker. He's beaten uh, Raw Madur. Actually, put Raw Madur on the shelf for pieing him with a freaking shit pie. I mean, you gotta say. That Rusty Klipperku is truthfully the future. He has been proving it time and time again, and now he's the undisputed international champion. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, so I have to I have to give credit where credit is due. He has been proving himself. He had a great match tonight. Probably the match of the night. I'm gonna say it. I think that was match of the night. Yeah, I have to say it was a good back and forth contest. It looked like he was gonna lose a few times, but somehow he pulled it out. And I have to say. That's that's what I like in my wrestler. I want a good wrestler that can push the envelope. Yes, but L. Crimson here is getting whooped like a government mule, like uh, Jr. would say. Yeah, I miss Jr. I miss him very much on uh, you know WWE programming. At least he wasn't a kiss ass like some people. Yes. Uh, well, he was always you know particular with certain people like Stone Cold and stuff. Well, he made him look good. That's what a good commentator does. Makes someone look good and doesn't overplay the freaking part. I'm looking at you, Michael fucking Cole, you bastard. Uh, yeah, I have to agree. He does overplay his character, and it does overbear a lot of stuff, and it does piss me off. Yeah, how, how, I mean, he overplays his part, and, and, and no one can really get in there, and that's why I like uh, Josh Matthews. Josh Matthews actually knows when to shut up. And, and say what he needs to say and then move on. Yes. <clears throat> Good match so far here. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Grimlock. I mean, this has been a good night. Feast of Gold has been a good show. I have to say the tag team matches were pretty intense. And, uh, but yeah, Rusty Clipperku is the new international champion. We got a new women's champion in Jesse Chaos. I think it's her full name because she is married to Mr. Chaos. 
Yeah, she won that match. That was a good match. Man. And we had Bonnie Benet show up, and she said she's watching her. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised Bonnie Benet make her debut sometime down the line. Yeah, she's pretty. She has pink hair. Yeah, I know. Anyway, <laughs> nice, nice move there by uh, by the um, El Crimson. Yeah. Anyway, th- yeah, anything could happen here. We don't know who will show up, but hey, this could be our last show for all we know. Yeah, the fans, we want to hear from you. Leave a comment below, okay? Just one, okay? Saying, is the show good? What would you want in this show? What do you want to see? Do you want to see more cutscenes? You want to see more promo time. What do you want? Give us something. You know, without you, we don't know what to do. And that's why Curse Chaos is kind of getting upset. You know, and I understand that he would want to, you know, say, screw this. I'm just going to move on with my life. Yeah. You know, and I understand perfectly with that. Yeah, I know, Grimlock. I mean, what about you, Johnny? What do you think? Well, I agree with you 100%. I think these fans are stupid not to freaking leave a comment. I'm telling you. Sometimes I wonder why we even do this show. We've, we're going on our fourth season. We're trying to give you the best freaking programming of all time. Or, or best commentary, at least. And and all we need is your support. We need you to give us some ideas down below on the comment box. It doesn't take freaking five seconds to leave a comment. Yeah. Yeah, what he said. I mean, I, I'm just getting upset. I mean, how many, how long does it take... To leave a comment. It just takes you five seconds or even less to do it. What the heck is he doing? He's doing like a timeout. I don't even know what's up with El Crimson. I mean, he's all over freaking Undertaker like syrup on pancakes. I'll tell you that. Yeah, anyway, I agree with you too. I mean, we give you the best programming possible. And I think Undertaker's going to try for a count out, Victor, a count out here. So he can keep the title. Yeah, yeah, you keep the title with a count out. Yeah, but we don't need that shit here. Yeah, anyway. Uh yeah, there's lots of shows we will we give credit to. We like GWF. There's ICF even though it ain't really running right now. Uh VCW. I mean, there's all these other shows out there that need recognition too and they need comments. I've looked and there ain't really any gang comments on these shows. I mean, we're the indies, but hey, you want us to be good like SMF. You want us to be good like ICCW. You want us to be good like that. You give us freaking feedback, damn it. Yes, I mean, I mean, if you give us feedback, you know what'll happen? Our show gets better. You know, it doesn't take a freaking rocket scientist not to know that. Yeah, commentary. We got that. We got the right talent. We just need you. We just need you to leave a comment below. Yes. Anyway, uh, let's get back to the match. Are we done talking about that? I could talk about it for hours. I could talk about it for days. You know, I've been getting kind of tired of it myself. I am getting sick and tired of giving my best on this stick. You know, being a commentator. I've been doing this commentary job for freaking years. Yes, me too. I mean, I've been with you, Jim. I mean, I agree a hundred and fucking ten. I mean, a hundred and ten percent on you. I agree, 100%. Yeah, that did not sound right. Well, I'm trying to agree with you. Well, you're being a dumbass doing it. Anyway, that's nice moved there by The Undertaker. Yes, and I think... Uh-oh, Crimson's up. Oh, shit. Crimson's pissed. So he's going for some sort of... Bam, boom, 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 boom. I don't know what he calls this, but... Oh, the Crimson. I'll call it the Crimson Wave or something. Crimson Wave, um... Or the Crimson Strike or something. I don't know what to say. He's doing two back-to-back. I think we're going to see a new world champion now. Yeah. Yeah, that was freaking out. Crazy move there. Yeah, I know, Grandma. I mean, it's a crazy night. Who's going to walk out the winner now? He's going to go for a third one. A third one. Will it be enough to beat The Undertaker? Go for the pin now, boy. Go for the pin now. One, two. Wow. El Crimson's the new champion. He's the new champion. Yeah, he's great. This is great. Yes, and we were talking about other stuff, but I gotta say, this was a great match. I was watching it, and El Crimson is now your champion. That's right, he is the new UWCL world champion. What a brutal match this was. This is Feast. This was a great show, Feast of Gold. We tried to give you the best possible wrestling that we could. Uh, I, I gotta say, I hope you guys leave comments. I hope you people 
care about UWCL enough that you will leave comments and help us keep this show running. Because if, without you, there is no show. Yes, anyway, this is Johnny Firecracker and Jim the Hilba and Grimock. Yeah, good night, everybody. Yeah, good night. And I uh, hope to see you next time. If there is a next time, UWCL. Good night, everybody. Ay, 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 mi amor, ay, mi more.